Hey everybody, welcome back to the Here to See channel. Got another hair journal for you. The Bible Book of Job, Chapter 5. Test trials and responses in Job. The Here to See channel, always focusing on sharing pearls of wisdom, nuggets of knowledge, understanding the difficult, and instructions for a better life. We're reading through the Bible Book of Job, a chapter at a time, and doing a hair journal on the chapter. Hair journaling is a method that many find edifying to their personal relationship with the Lord. Check out replicate.org to learn more about hair journaling. Give it a try. But now let's read and listen to Bible Book of Job, Chapter 5 in the New Living Translation from the YouVersion Bible app. Then I'll share my hair journal with you. Chapter 5 Eliphaz's response continues. Cry for help, but will anyone answer you? Which of the angels will help you? Surely resentment destroys the fool and jealousy kills the simple. I have seen that fools may be successful for the moment, but then comes sudden disaster. Their children are abandoned far from help. They are crushed in court with no one to defend them. The hungry devour their harvest even when it is guarded by brambles. The thirsty pant after their wealth. But evil does not spring from the soil, and trouble does not sprout from the earth. People are born for trouble as readily as sparks fly up from a fire. If I were you, I would go to God and present my case to Him. He does great things, too marvelous to understand. He performs countless miracles. He gives rain for the earth and water for the fields. He gives prosperity to the poor and protects those who suffer. He frustrates the plans of schemers, so the work of their hands will not succeed. He traps the wise in their own cleverness, so their cunning schemes are thwarted. They find it is dark in the daytime, and they grope at noon as if it were night. He rescues the poor from the cutting words of the strong and rescues them from the clutches of the powerful. And so at last the poor have hope, and the snapping jaws of the wicked are shut. But consider the joy of those corrected by God. Do not despise the discipline of the Almighty when you sin. For though he wounds, he also bandages. He strikes, but his hands also heal. From six disasters he will rescue you. Even in the seventh, he will keep you from evil. He will save you from death in time of famine, from the power of the sword in time of war. You will be safe from slander and have no fear when destruction comes. You will laugh at destruction and famine. Wild animals will not terrify you. You will be at peace with the stones of the field, and its wild animals will be at peace with you. You will know that your home is safe. When you survey your possessions, nothing will be missing. You will have many children. Your descendants will be as plentiful as grass. You will go to the grave at a ripe old age, like a sheaf of grain harvested at the proper time. We have studied life and found all this to be true. Listen to my counsel and apply it to yourself. And that was... Job chapter 5 in the New Living Translation from the YouVersion Bible app. Now for my here journal. First the highlight. Job chapter 5 verses 8 and 9 and 17 and 18. Eliphaz's response continues. Verse 8. If I were you, I would go to God and present my case to Him. He does great things too marvelous to understand he performs countless miracles but consider the joy of those corrected by god do not despise the discipline of the almighty when you sin for though he wounds he also bandages he strikes but his hands also heal so what's my explanation Eliphaz, one of Job's friends, continues his recommendations to Job from chapter 4. He recommends that Job go to God and present his case to him. He also points out the joy to be had to those that have been corrected by God. God will bandage and heal those from their afflictions. 
Eliphaz is not really helping Job. As we already know, Job had a strong and faithful relationship with God, and Eliphaz says that God says that Job used to encourage many others. So how does that apply to us today? Well, we can learn that Eliphaz may have had good intentions, but he was not being helpful or compassionate. Rather, he was seeking for a solution to an unsolvable circumstance. I find myself in the same place. I often try to give someone a solution to their problem rather than listening to them and really holding them up in their anguish. The Holy Spirit will give us the words to say if we will quietly listen to Him. Let's ask Him in advance of our visit for wisdom to love and support our friends. Then we can sit with them and share their troubles while providing true, helpful words that only the Holy Spirit can provide. So what's my response? Lord, thank you for being there for me through every circumstance. Help me to better listen to you before I listen to others and to say what you would have me to say. Help me resist the temptation to provide meaningless solutions, but rather to listen to your counsel and think, say, and do what you would have me to do. Amen. Amen. Now, how about you? Why don't you try some here journaling? Highlight, explain, apply, and respond. You'll be so glad you did. Comment below. Share your experiences. And if you don't know Jesus as your Lord and Savior, read the Gospel of John chapter 3 to learn about His forgiveness. And talk to God about it. You can talk to God about anything. That's what we should do is talk to Him first. Seek Him now. God bless.